Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial, forward and reverse motor starter control and power wiring is explained. Please watch the full video to understand. Please note the legends as short form will be used to explain the wiring. Parts are used to build a forward and reverse motor starter are as follows. Main breaker control fuse selector switch contactor overload relay. Three phase respectively, L1, L2, L3 are supplied through the main circuit breaker to the input terminals 1, 3, and 5 of contactor KF used for forward function and contactor KR used for reverse function. The output terminals of contactor KF 2, 4, and 6 are connected to overload incoming terminals 1, 3, and 5. But the output terminals of contactor KR 2, 4, and 6 are connected to overload terminal 5, 3, and 1. If you notice we have interchange L1 and L3 coming from contactor KR to the overload, this is done to run the three-phase motor in reverse direction. Overload supplies the three-phase to the motor to run in the desired direction selected form the selector switch, lest move to the control wiring. Line and neutral pass through the MCB. Neutral continues to the overload normally open contact 98 and 97 to the error light and normally closed contact of the overload 95 and 96 to the normally closed auxiliary contact of contactor KR.12 and from point 11, and it connects on the coil terminal A2 of contactor KF. Also from point 95 of overload supplies, another neutral to the normally close auxiliary contact of contactor KF.12, and from point 11 it connects to the coil terminal A2 of contactor KR. This is called electrical interlocking, and it is used to prevent the two contactors from energizing at the same time. If contactor KF is energized, KR cannot be powered because of circuit is open at KF.12 and 11. Same goes for the contactor KR2. Now we have completed the neutral side, let's move to the phase. Phase L3 pass through the fuse and branch to the error light point X1, also connected at the point 11 and 13 of the selector switch. Point 12 of selector switch is used for forward function, and it is connected at the KF contactor coil terminal A1. And point 14 of selector switch is used for reverse function, and it is connected at the KR contactor coil terminal A1. Now we understand the wiring, we can visualize the operation of the starter. Once the selector switch is turned to the forward side, point 11 and 12 will close, and phase is supplied at coil terminal A1 of contactor KF, while the neutral comes from overload, point 95, to the closed contact of contactor KR12 and 11 to the coil terminal. A2 of contactor KF and the contactor energizes and motor start to run in forward function. To run the motor in reverse function selector switch will have to be turned to the reverse side, which will result in closing point 13 and 14, and phase will be supplied at coil terminal A1 of contactor KR. While neutral will pass through point 95 of overload to the point 12 and 11 of contactor KF, which is connected to coil terminal A2 of contactor KR, resulting in energizing the contactor KR to allow the motor to run in reverse direction. In case motor is stuck or burned or consuming more current than its set limit overload will cut of the supply to the contactors and will close its contact 96 and 97 to resulting in error light to come on for fault indication. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.